appreciate this. I know there's a lot of work involved in this. So thank you for bringing this forward. All right, consensus? Trustee Boltus? Yes. Trustee Taglia? Yes. Trustee Bullwinkle? Yes. Trustee Case? Yes. Trustee Davis? Yes. Trustee Aiello? Yes. Pressing Collerton? Yes. Item four, consider authorizing the signature of a letter of acceptance for the TOD Implementation Technical Assistance Program. Manager Keener. Thank you, Your Honor. The village has been awarded two technical assistant grants from the Regional Transportation Authority, otherwise known as RTA, to further the goals of our transit oriented development TOD area for the redevelopment of a multi-block area in the immediate vicinity of Villa Park's Metro train station. This redevelopment is a free technical assistance grant with no funding and no local match required. And Your Honor, uh, staff felt at ease bringing this forward so it would be approved uh, by the village and the scope of work is helping the village through um, setting goals at the TOD and establishing a subcommittee, which I believe is almost complete, Your Honor. And we do have Assistant Director of Community Development, Melissa, in the audience, if there's any questions. Questions or comments from the public? Questions or comments from the board? Consensus? Trustee Taglia? Yes. Trustee Bullwinkle? Yes. Trustee Case? Yes. Trustee Davis? Yes. Trustee Aiello? Yes. Trustee Bolthus? Yes. President Cullerton? Yes. Item 5, consider a resolution of the Village of Villa Park, DuPage County, Illinois, approving the quote from Current Technologies. Thank you, Your Honor. Step was tasked to initiate a plan to consolidate IT network functions for all departments under one domain structure. Staff has completed this task and would like to move forward with a more efficient use of IT hardware, software, and human resources to provide a stable network backbone for the village now and in the future. Costs associated with this project would be covered by police and water funds. TC has brought forward, CTC has brought forward a design solution for a total of $75,368.31. And, and Your Honor, just a little bit of background again. We, we talked about this during our last uh, board meeting, but the way the IT uh, was developed over time was through three different departments, through three different sets of staff, through three different budgets, and it's kind of grown into what we have now. And what staff would like to do, and what I've tasked them to do, is to pull it under one domain structure, pull it under the ausp auspices of the IT uh, manager, uh, Larry, and to go from here and put us on the same platform so that we'd all have uh, Microsoft 2010 or Microsoft 2007 so that we can communicate and make other structural changes so that Larry can roll out patches for Microsoft or patches that we really don't see that are on the server. And additionally, <coughs> our police department's uh, IT network is in need of replacement and is at severe risk, Your Honor, and should be replaced uh, as quickly as we can. In fact, the uh, firewall needs to be replaced uh, as quickly as we can, and uh, certainly we'd like to move forward with this project. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Any questions or comments from the public? Questions or comments from the board? Mr. President. Trustee Davis. Just to drag the meeting out, I'll just talk some more. Uh, this is what we talked about with the virtualization computers. And, uh, I got a smartphone. I still can't use that, so this is going to be great. Now, Larry, we're not going to keep running into our problems that we have every year that I've been on this board where outdated computers and this and that. This is the first phase, right, that we're talking about? Uh, yes, uh, this is just the first phase. It's the infrastructure part of it. Uh, and it's 75,000. We've got what, two more phases, I thought it was? Three phases total, correct? Uh, I, I would imagine the second phase is like desktops, replacement of desktops, and the third phase would be software. Mm -hmm. All right, so then after this, like There is software involved in the first stage, obviously, because 
the virtualization of servers require the operating systems for the servers. So that is, so operating system is software. Yeah, I wish Hagman was here. <laughs> uh, okay, so again, we're not going to, you won't be coming back up to us saying we need to update these computers or these are, and, and life, is that what you call it, and life? Just about all of our servers are end of life right now. So if we, if we, even if we didn't go with this, we would still have to replace those servers at a cost of forty to fifty thousand dollars. So at the end of the day, when we're done with all sets of these, we're going to be completely all updated. There won't be any more. This plan brings us up to par. So it's like we, like uh, Manager Keener delineated, we had evolved over the years from three different departments doing their own thing without focusing on what was good for the entire network of the village. So now we have to go back and repair that, otherwise we just keep going in disparate directions. And you're going to control. You're going to be the key guy in maintaining all this, right? Or is there an outside company? There's going to be. Know? There's going to be one central person that would be the IT manager, myself. I'd either control it remotely or directly at the, where it's co-located at the police department. So there's no outside company. We'll have there's to, no outside company. It's just you. If I'm thrown under a bus, we can we can throw we can contact the, uh, you know current technologies. They would be. <laughs> people who have the passwords, a copy of our password, so that if there was an emergency, there would be an outside organization that would take over. Yeah, I was, I was concerned about that because yeah. you were the only guy and you took them up. Well, we, <coughs> this, this would give us a centralized management with the IT manager. That would be a couple sub-administrators. Because the public works is such a larger, uh, much larger department, they would have a sub-administrator for that portion of the village. And of course the police would have their sub-administrator. But I would be the administrator of the network. So you're, you're the overall king of the IT? The overall king. Okay, I'm tired. Can we hurry up here? All right. Oh. Won't tell um, real quick, before we get going, can this... Uh, can this system handle the upgrade of uh, computerized uh, payroll, swiping in, swiping out, uh, going to a essentially key card system of payroll uh, throughout the village? Yes, Your Honor. I mean, I know we're still on hand cards and punch clocks for some people in certain departments that I know has been a goal of a lot of ours to <clears throat> upgrade that and go to a more efficient system. So yes, I just sir. want to make sure this goes with it. Yes, Your Honor. This infrastructure will be able to hang much more sophisticated software on it. Okay. Trustee Ayala? Uh, Larry, sooner or later we're going to have to upgrade this, too. Or the systems are all have to generally be upgraded as we go along in time going forward. All the PCs are going to have to get changed. Uh, software is going to have to get changed. By the time that's done, you may run into a problem where you need to upgrade those servers again, depending on how long that takes. Right? That's correct. So, so yeah. Staff is going to eventually come back to us for yeah. more money for servers, computers, and software, yeah. just as a natural consequence of technology. It's a cyclical process. Okay. Any other questions, comments? President Cullen. Trustee Bull, uh, Bullwinkle. Just wondering, have we ever done anything at this massive of a level before as a village? I don't know if we've ever done anything since I've been up here. I've been up here three well, I've been here seven years, and, and we haven't done that. Uh, the reason why we're doing it now is because we don't want to continue on the same track. We want to make sure that we bring our network up to par, build it in such a way that we will be easily we can we can expand on it without having to break the bank. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> All right, consensus. Trustee Bullwinkle? Yes. Trustee Case? Yes. Trustee Davis? Yes. Trustee Aiello? Yes. Trustee Bolthus? Yes. Trustee Taglia? Yes. Pressing Fullerton? <coughs> yes. Uh, item six, consider bids for the 2011 North Yale Water Main Improvement Project. Manager Keener. Thank you, Your Honor. The village proposes the completion of the North Yale Water Main Improvement Project, which consists 
of the installation of approximately 1,300 feet of new 8-inch water main on North Yale Avenue between Plymouth Street and Terrace Street. This work is to be done partially funded through a Community Development Block Grant, CDCG, administered by DuPage County. Village staff prepared plans and specifications. Staff publicly bid the project, with 21 contractors submitting bids. The lowest responsible bid was submitted by Jay Congdon, Sewer Service Inc. of Carroll Stream, Illinois, with a bid of $397,870.00. The engineer's estimate for the project was $452,500. Funds are allocated in the water <coughs> supply fund for this project. Thank you, Ronnie. Thank you. Any questions or comments from the public? Uh, Vetus is here for any questions or comments from the board. Trustee Bullwinkle. My only question is, with this bid, because it's, what, $54,000 less than what was budgeted, I guess, does this include everything? I mean, I understand there might be some unknowns, but I um, just want to make sure this is as close to accurate as it's going to be. I know we can't avoid, you know, you know how I love those uh, change orders, but, you know, I'm just kind of just, you know, just wondering how, you know, does this, is this realistic? Sure. It's and, based on our knowledge of conditions as they exist okay. there right now, but, but remember, it's, it's underground excavation. Right. Whenever you it. dig, you never know what you're going to find. Yep. Okay. I just had to throw it out there because I want to make sure that we're at least close. Mr. President. Okay. Trustee uh, Yellow. I know. We, that, that comes up a lot. That it's underground. We don't really know what's there. We should know what's there. And it's not this staff's fault that we don't know what's there. So as moving forward, when we do projects like these, we, I assume, or I'm asking, if we don't do it, please do. If we do do it, please let me know. Uh, map out what's there as we go so that going forward 20 years from now, whoever has to sit in your spot, doesn't have to answer, I don't know where everything is, because 40 years ago when they put the mains in, or 80 years ago when they put the mains in, no one kept good enough track, or they're lost, or whatever way you might have. We keep uh, records of what we put in the ground. Unfortunately, we cannot watch what everybody else puts in the ground. You know, there, there are other utilities there, and you know we're dependent on them for their records. So it's it's what not I mean, always our records that are, are the issue. But I think what, what I mean by that is, as we dig, as this project gets dug out, we document what we find. And there you go. Okay. That's all I want to see. If there happens to be a gas man running along the side, we note it. Okay. Trustee Davis? It's not only just that, too. It's also the conditions under the topsoil or the grading. Uh, once you open it up, you can run into all types of things, what the backfill was and everything else, which creates a different, uh, poses different problems. So it's more than just mapping that we have, they have to deal with, too, in that Yes, part soil conditions is, is a factor also. Yeah. That's all. Thank you. Vitas, are we still at the the disposal of soil uh, problem that oh, we yes. had last year? Oh, yes. That, that is a great unknown on any project. Are these all coming in? Are these all being essentially tabulated into the bids as well? Is it their responsibility well, or our responsibility? It's a residential area, so there should not be any issues. But if one occurs, then yes, the project could end up costing more. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Consensus? Trustee Case? Yes. Trustee Davis? Yes. Trustee Aiello? Yes. Trustee Bolthus? Yes. Trustee Taglia? Yes. Trustee Bullwinkle? Yes. President Color. Yes. Item 7, consider resolution conditionally accepting assistance to firefighters grant program funds for the purchase of two cardiac monitor defibrillators and maintenance agreements. Andrew Keenan. Thank you, Your Honor. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, may award the Village of Villa Park Fire Department grant funds to purchase two cardiac monitor defibrillators and maintenance agreements for a cost not to exceed $67,000. The terms of the grant specify that FEMA will pay 90% of the cost of the purchase. Staff recommends that the board approve a resolution to provide the village of Villa Park firefighters and paramedics to treat the citizens and uh, visitors of the 
village and state of the art equipment that can be purchased from the grant funds. Thank you, Ron. Questions or comments for the public? Um, I have a quick question. So, in essence, this is Chief Dusky, this will be $6,700 to the village for these two machines? That's correct. Not for the village. No, for the village. village 67000 total, but FEMA's paying 90%, so our cost should be coming out of the village budget, coming out of your budget, should be 6700 <laughs> correct? Coming, coming out of somewhere. I've coming, coming out of somewhere within well, the if, village. If we are granted these funds, I anticipate it being part of a next budget amendment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just to make, just to clarify this, we haven't been awarded these grant funds yet. This is conditional. This is all conditional, it's, but but the cost to the village overall, if we're awarded, would be sixty-seven hundred dollars. Correct. Okay. Cool. Not sixty-seven thousand, be it. That's okay. Uh, any other, any questions or comments for the board, Mr. President, for Trustee Davis, Chief? Do you have enough AEDs? Well, these aren't AEDs. Or to fit. We have enough defibrillators, but two of them are getting end of life, uh, not no longer supported but by maintenance by by physio control. Parts aren't available, and what what these are to do is is take the two real old ones that are on the fire engines, take those off, replace those with with the ones that we're using on the ambulances now, and then replace putting the two new ones on the ambulance or on the ambulances. So, how much time do you have before the next cycle? Before the next ones run out, the ones that you put on the engines from the ambulance, how much longer do they got life left? Life on, on the monitors, they generally support them for about 10 years. Physio control. How old are they now? The ones, the ones on our engines, I don't have the, the, the actual age, but they're at end of life, and the, the parts aren't available for them. We, you know, we have maintenance contracts, contracts with physio control that take care of these and make sure they're working. You know, it's, it's, Rather complicated medical equipment. Sure. They have to make sure they're synchronized correctly and doing all the right things. You hate to shock somebody and actually make them worse. It's you know it's not a good thing. So the maintenance contracts are out there. They're pretty in depth. But when they are not supported anymore, they're not supported anymore. So we have to go to outside vendors, you know, for parts, and and they're just not available. So we're our fingers are crossed that they don't break. Well, my concern is the ones that you're taking off the ambulance and putting on the front line engines. How much longer do you have with those? Those are life pack tens, and I they're got to be good for at least another five years. And they don't certainly get the use that they do on the ambulance when they're on the fire engine. So. That, that's what I was looking for. Right. Thank you. And all this realistically is pending getting the grant. Correct. We have we have been we we, we got some emails that would indicate that we're probably going to get it, okay. but it's the federal government. No guarantees. Better than the state. <laughs> Mr. President. <laughs> True. Yeah. Uh, the off chance that we don't get the grant, can we get uh, numbers from you on how old those really are? Oh, absolutely. Just so that we know how, if it doesn't happen, how fast our budget's got to change to cover what you need. Absolutely. <laughs> Any other questions or comments? Consensus? Trustee Davis? Yes. Trustee Aiello? Yes. Trustee Bolthus? Yes. Trustee Taglia? Yes. Trustee Case? Yes. Trustee Bullwinkle? Yes. President Cullerton? Yes. Item 8, advance to bill listing A through D. Um, any questions or comments from the public? Questions or comments from the board? Consensus? Trustee Aiello? Yes. Trustee Bolthus? Yes. Trustee Taglia? Yes. Trustee Case? Yes. Trustee Bullwinkle? Yes. Trustee Davis? Yes. President Clarkson? Yes. We'll move back to the formal item 11, resolution authorizing the signature of a letter of acceptance for the TOD Implementation Technical Assistance Program. Can I have a motion for the resolution? Mr. President. Trustee Bolthus? Motion for a resolution. Can I have a second? Mr. President. Trustee yes. Davis? Second. Questions or comments from the board? Seeing none, roll call vote. Trustee Aiello? Yes. Trustee Bullfuss? Yes. Trustee Taglia? Yes. Trustee Case? Yes. Trustee Bullwinkle? Yes. Trustee Davis? Yes. President Cullerton? Yes. Item 12, resolution of the Village of Villa Park, Page County, Illinois, approving the quote from Current Technologies. Can I have a motion for the resolution? Mr. President. Trustee Bolthus? Motion for the resolution. Can I have a second? Mr. President. 
Trustee Davis. Second. Questions or comments from the board? Roll call vote, please. Trustee Bolthus? Yes. Trustee Taglia? Yes. Trustee Bullwinkle? Yes. Trustee Case? Yes. Trustee Davis? Yes. Trustee Aiello? Yes. President Cullerton? Yes. With that, we will go into executive session. We will not be coming out of executive session uh, with any votes. Bill Park, we'll let you know whether the 19th is a workshop or a formal meeting. they got to let me know first. So,